Oh, hey, everybody. Welcome to NerfCast. This is Josh. And Mr. Ed. This is what happens, guys. This is, what, this is why I can't leave him alone. Well, him? What are you talking about? I'm Mr. Ed. I'm new to the podcast. Are you still oh, not, are, are you not a him anymore? Should I do a funny accent? Oh, should I do a funny accent? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, wow. So, uh, that happened. Oh, also the banana slug in the background is my girlfriend all wrapped up. Mm, uh, is a bug in a rug. Yep. That's a real thing. That really, this is real happening, guys. Real this thing. is, this is how it's going to go down. Uh, it's hard to be about to go down. <laughs> uh, alrighty. So we got a great show for you tonight. No, we don't. I ain't gonna lie to you. I ain't even gonna lie to you like that. That's just messed up. Woo! Living guy. in a horse is tough. Oh, he's alive. Holy huh. crap! Oh man. Yeah, look. You look uh, warm under there. Oh, so warm. <laughs> oh, so warm. So it's okay. Yeah. We we're gonna. Uh, I was trying to hold out longer, but I couldn't do it. Yeah, I thought I thought she was gonna make it. The whole thing? No, not the whole thing. Oh, that would have never happened. Oh, turn that shit. Yeah, yeah, that's right. It's remembrance, remembrance. Um, so not not a whole lot. There's been some interesting stuff going on, guys. Um, you know. Wanted to kind of get in on the conversation that's been going on on Reddit about like, well, there's there's quite a few things. One is like the negative connotation of Nerf, and it's sort of dovetailed into a few different like side convos with like it being a sport and rules and and all sorts of stuff, all sorts of good stuff. It's a great, it's a great back and forth. Uh, if if you ain't on there reading it, you should. But uh, yeah, I think it would be good, cool for us to to chime in. Just talk about some of our experiences, uh, things that would be we think would be potentially beneficial, uh, stuff like that. You know, then we'll just roll. We always just roll. We'll see where it goes. We never know where things are going to take us. I feel like Nerf only has a negative connotation when someone puts a thumbtack at the end of a dart. Oh, that's the truth. That's the truth. Every time I see that, I'm going to turn this off. It's kind of annoying. Uh, but, but, um, yeah, that's that stuff's got to stop. The the dart putting stuff at the end of darts, that's never going to – that that ain't good for the sport. That ain't good for no. the sport of Nerf. Now, if you're going to be like, Nerf isn't a sport, then that's – no. We're just – No. The it's activity. not a sport, a sport. The internet confirmed it. Yes. Sure. You must, you must not be able to – the internet confirmed it's not a sport. Oh, okay. I don't know how we confirmed it's not a sport, but sure. It doesn't, it doesn't have sponsors. Uh, I mean, chess is a sport. I think chess has sponsors now. I feel like there are like blogs. Wait, wait. I feel like there are blogs that are sponsored by Nerf. Like there are people that get like stuff from Nerf for free. That counts. That's a sponsorship. Not if they're not wearing it to the. Uh, they got to. They got to wear like a logo or something. What about the? I think zing? the chess timers. Oh, wait, 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 wait. What about timers. what about the Zing thing? When they like went to like a laser tag place and they were playing Zing. With all the zingbos that people gave them, wearing all the zing stuff. No. No. Wait, hold on. Wait, Dart Tag has like shirts that say Nerf on them, and Dart Tag. There you Dart go. Tag, Dart Tag is dead, so it's a sport that no one plays. Anymore. No, this this Christmas you could get a free Dart Tag shirt over at uh, Toys R Us if you spent like thirty dollars or something. So. Oh, the ones they had left over from two thousand eight. <laughs> uh. You could also go get a swarm fire still at Toys R Us. So, you know, if you hit the right one, you may be able to relive your childhood. No, no, that was like a I actual. I saw a 1980. I thought 88 snake eyes in packing. Nikki Ficky, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to buy you lights. Like, that's going to be your, your for reals Christmas present. Here. Happy? No. Nah. Do this. I don't. No, that's, that's not. You don't understand how it works. That one light is not changing anything. It's the same light that's already on you. But it's like, a fly. It's a fly when, light. When you start moving, it's like. <laughs> but it, but it floods me. Either that, or I'm buying you a, like a better wireless router. I don't know which it is. Probably a bit of both. 
Because you just like cut out for like a solid minute and just repeating your stuff like nah, 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 nah. I'm like I thought you know, I thought vinyl was I, over, I son. That, I don't think that translates to the actual podcast. When was the last time you watched the podcast? A while ago. Yeah. Okay. That's what I thought. <laughs> but have you watched the podcast? Son, I watch. I always watch the podcast. Does it translate? Does the spelling yeah. translate? Yeah, it totally oh. translates. That's cool. You're like a kung fu flick. You're like a Saturday kung fu flick right now. <laughs> whatever you're saying in my ear is that match what's coming on my. Oh, that's it's awesome. like BFU. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if it's your. I, I'm seeing it fine on mine. It's like bam, bam, bam. There we go. Uh. So, I think I think I've I think I've reached that device capacitor again. Last time I cleared it cleared it out it was like 120 registered IPs. It just sometimes ain't words. Sometimes ain't words. I uh, never you know what? Never mind. Never mind. Anyway, so this whole negative connotation sport where the direction that nerf is gonna go thing. Let's get back on to jump on that bandwagon re uh Reiterate some of that stuff. Um, I'm gonna pro- pull it up while I'm here. You know, I can do that now. You gonna screen share it because you're awesome? No, why would I screen share text? That would be annoying. <laughs> um, let's see if I can find anything good. But uh, yeah, I know, I know you chimed in a little bit on some of this stuff. I did. So I think, I mean, I don't think my perspective is unique, but. As someone who grew up playing traditional sports, uh, especially a lot of baseball, till I was in my teenage years, uh, almost through high school. So I know some people actually view sports as a very negative thing because it, you know, over competitiveness or wedgies as a kid um, or something like that. But I learned a lot about sports. I learned redundant, but sportsmanship, teamwork, leadership. I learned sports. Good stuff. So Good stuff. That's nerf the... became a sport, a legit sport. It would only help. Uh, oh, here we go. I think this. I think this is the one. Oh yeah, there we go. This... But I can see the other side of wanting to keep it. I can see the other side of wanting to keep it this exclusive hobby for you know nerf nerds and stuff. You know, me being one of the biggest nerf nerds. So. Um. Hmm. So, so there's some stuff, and some of this brought, got brought up. We're just reiterating stuff, guys. But um, you know, I feel that one of the things that has paved the way for, uh, for instance, HVZ, right? HVZ, uh, we saw a, a, a really big sort of boom. HVZ kind of came out. It hit the ground running. A lot of people started getting in on the bandwagon. People who probably were not into blaster or foam-based combat prior to HVZ, right? They heard about this thing. sounded kind of fun. They went and did it. Bam. Um, but I, and I was trying to try to think, like, what is the unifying factor there? But, you know, what, what caused HVZ to take off and, and, you know, not other nerfing stuff? I know you could say, well, it's zombies, dude. It's just zombies are popular and it's cool. It's definitely a great gateway. But why haven't people transitioned from anything zombie-ish to, to other events? Um, and one of the things that, that I personally have noticed is that there's, there's those rules. You know what I mean? There's that unification. You go to HVZ, you're expecting some things. I know that there we've talked about there's lots of different ways of HVZ. You could do like a week long event. You can do a this kind of event, that kind of event. There's going to be different zombies sometimes, all sorts of different kind of things going on. But you go to like an HVZ website, uh, Humans vs. Zombies website, and all the stuff is there, right? It's laid out like here, use a nerf or some other blaster. You're going to tag these people. You need a headband to do there. So there's like, there's a lot of common elements and that's not saying there's not a lot of common elements in nerf, but usually it's like, well, the common element is you're tagging somebody with a blaster. That's it. That's where, that's where it completely stops. 
that is the right. only thing that I can find that anything has in common. There's not like a Nerf website or a Nerf place where people can go. If they go to Nerf Reddit or Nerf Haven, they're going to find like, oh, maybe you play this game type and it goes like this and maybe you do this and it goes like this. There's not like unifying rules. Like everybody gets a bandana. And you got to flip it if you get turned into a zombie. If you get tagged, you turn into a zombie. There's little subtle nuances that are going to make people different, but there's no unifying rule set like that. Like, oh, hey pretty much is how people play. Now there's been some things like, oh, 315 rule or this rule, but I, I, I feel like that, that unity isn't there. And that's what is, and I don't want to say it's a negative connotation for sure, but it, something that has not brought in the numbers and, and sort of made it have that jump from like, oh, it's just people getting together and kind of doing whatever to like more of a organized sport for i don't know i guess lack of a better term because i would say hvz is a is a sport no that's where i kind of agree with you it's it's it you know if, if i want to go play basketball there's only a couple things i need i need a, i need a round ball i need a hoop um yep. i can play by myself and i'm not really playing basketball i'm just kind of practicing right yeah some yeah. people right so play half court full court but it's still it, it's bad in its essence it's the sport of basketball right Right. Baseball, you need certain things. So for it to be a sport, I think it needs more than just you're tagging people with foam darts. Mm -hmm. There needs to be some set of guidelines to say this is how you play Nerf. This is the baseline, and there can be variations from here, but these are the basics of Nerf. But it doesn't need that. It doesn't need to be a sport. No, it really for doesn't. Sure. For I mean, sure. But, I mean, I don't like – some of the – some of their sports were given a very bad – uh, some people didn't have a very good outlook on sports, and, and I probably can assume why, but I don't want to assume why. Um, right. I could see how people have a sour taste from sports. You know, as someone who doesn't, I still play basketball league this, to this day. Um, mm -hmm. And, you know, I just think sports teach you so much. And well, and, and you, you just, you just threw so something much. out there right now. Like, like, you play basketball in a league. Like, I don't hear of a lot of Nerf leagues. There's groups that get together and play Nerf, but there's not like, hey, you know what? There's teams of this many people, and they come and they, they get together and they nerf. Right. Or there's a league right. of some kind. The, the closest and the we have are sort of like HBZ events. No. Right. And there is, I mean, we pay, you figure the cheapest league that you can find is probably $700 a team for a 10 game season. Right. So 10 guys are paying 70 bucks each to go play basketball. Right. Because you're running the court, you're paying for the referees. Right. 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 Um, for, and you're paying for 20 minutes, you're paying for t literally 40 minutes a week or, you know, 40 minutes a section. Yeah. That's yeah. pretty steep when you think about the price. Um, so I think, but if there wasn't the sport of basketball, nobody would play basketball leagues. Right. And I mean, you're, you guys are playing, you're paying to be in the league, but you could go to a school, yeah. right? Get a bunch of people together and go play basketball. You play hoop. Like, Hey, we need, let, yeah. let's get together. Let's go play. You can do it. Sure. Um, and you can do that with nerves or soccer or thing. any other sport. Right, you can't. No, I think. Yeah, there's just too many different ways to do it. Right, and you I have think to. That's get, really. I mean, most people will have like a group of friends, right? And you, you guys all kind of know what you're doing. You know, you're gonna go if you're gonna go nerf, you're gonna go together nerf. But you can't get like people you just met, like, hey, let's go nerf. And it's not just because they don't know what it is, but even if you know what it is, you might not, you might not play the same way. That's really what. Yeah. What it is, right? If you say, hey, we're gonna go to an HVZ event. People kind of know, like, oh, all right, we're going to go to an HVZ event. Like, this is, I, I kind of need this stuff. This is what I'm expecting. Um, right. Yeah, but, if I show up to a basketball court and say, hey, every basket is worth 47 points, like, right. people are like, no, that's not even close to the real way. I don't even know what you're doing. You know, like, there's a, there's just a set set of guys down, right? You go to, you know, they play by two and three. Some pickup games, you play by one and two, right? Mm -hmm. 211 or whatever, a set amount of points. That's not how the NBA plays, but there's just some standards that a guy, there's just universal truths in certain sports that right. Nerf hasn't made it there yet. And it's because it's, you know, the, the hobby's really picked up, but it's definitely in its infancy as far as the Nerf tactical combat side. I think the HVZ yeah. side's farther along, but HVZ is more, to me, earthy than it is sporty. It's sport in that it's a physical activity, but and that you know one team wins either humans or zombies. That's 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 good. Mm -hmm. But I think some people are into it for the LARPing stuff, and which is awesome. I again, I don't want to make it sound like I'm off. Like I'm saying, Nerf is less or greater than. It's not. 
It's just right. not there yet. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, like I said, the entire conversation isn't necessarily about it being specifically a sport. Uh, it was actually more of like negative connotations of Nerf and, you know, uh, potentially yeah. how to how to sort of balance some of that stuff, uh, change the perception of Nerf. I think that's the thing. Like, if you hear about uh, people playing HVZ, um, I, I, I mean, maybe this is because we're part of the Nerf community, so it's, 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 it's hard to judge, right? But you hear like, oh, these kids on a college campus are kind of playing that thing. They're doing the thing, whatever. It's like a little nerdy get together thing. It's like it's like when parents hear about like their kids playing Dungeons and Dragons or something. Like now that it's not the eighties, pretty much, you know, yeah. worshiping Satan. It's like, oh, hey, you know, they're playing with their Nerf things, whatever. They're going and having a good time. They don't right. understand the difference, but people are kind of eh. But when you you hear negative stuff, it's always like, oh, well, people were playing uh, like uh, Assassin or something, and there was like a dude in a ghillie suit waiting out of his friend's house to tag him with a nerf blaster in the middle of the <laughs> night. And, and and that's, that's the, ne- that's the, those are the negative things that I read about nerf. Um, but it's not like yeah. a ton of articles. Like we're not, we're not big enough to be on any no. sort of news radar. I wish, I wish we were, I wish we were big enough to be, that might make someone realize that this could be a real thing and, and they could go farther than where it is. <laughs> yeah. Like I almost, it's like no press, no, uh, no, uh, all press is good press. There is no bad press. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, I mean, being a sport would, and, and that's what the, kind of the argument was. Being a sport would move it towards being legitimate. Like you see kids playing soccer, you're not like, oh my god, what are those punks doing? Right, kicking around a ball. What? Right. That's so god. Like you don't see that. If they're, they're like, oh, they're playing soccer. That's awesome. I'm glad those old dudes can still go play soccer. No, nah, I feel it, and and that's one of the things that I love because I always I, I brought this up before is like parents potentially complaining or, or people can pedestrians complaining about people playing nerf in like a, a park or something. And the best one that I've still heard was that one of our games was when someone was like, well, you guys are running around. Yes. Okay. Like you could, you could run into me or my kid. Yeah. Okay. We could, you're, you're right. We totally could, but I mean, so could those guys over there that are playing soccer or those guys that are playing basketball, but you're not giving them crap. Yeah. What? You know, <laughs> like, like, in fact, well, they can hit our- with a basketball and that's going to, that's going to be bad for you or your kid. Like right in the, right in the right. melon, just bam, done. Those people playing baseball, like, dude, if that, that ball is hard, if it hits you in the face, it's going to hurt. <laughs> like, one of our funny. first games, one of our first games, one of the players got hit with a cricket ball. I remember. I remember that. It wasn't us. Somebody else like, was playing cricket. Just so you guys know. Yeah. A little cricket is looking up. Straight shot to the throat. <laughs> Yeah, and it was like, I mean, that's a real thing. That's a real risk. That, but us, but we're the ones getting like, hey, how? What are you guys doing here? Look, it's, it's suspicious. It's you're playing with something that vaguely resembles a gun and shoots a projectile. That's the stigma. I, and that's I get it, be. and I get it. That's going to be the stigma no matter what. Um, yeah. You know, that's 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 the risk that you run, legitimizing quote unquote uh, nerf. You know, what I mean, or or presenting it to a bigger audience. Um, unless there are designated like fields or something like that you can go to. I'm sure if you have those in your area, they're, they're probably not getting well, any because they're... That's the other thing, I think, holding the hobby back from being amazing. You see, it's, it's, it's funny because we're talking and you're so far behind on my screen that I'm like, I should wait for him to finish, but you're already finished. <laughs> so um, the other thing, you know, and I don't know how to say this without sounding like, a, like an idiot or a, a douchebag, mm-hmm. but part of my French... Um, the Nerf community is inherently cheap. And there, the cheapness holds the hobby back because I don't think anyone would join a Nerf league. Uh, like, yeah. you, like that was expensive, like my basketball league is. And my basketball league is cheap. Seven hundred bucks is cheap. That's right. cheap. That's cheap. No, I, I got you. I mean, I don't even. I don't even think. I, I agree with you in the fact that I don't think people would pay to be in a Nerf league. Um, I wouldn't pay to be in a Nerf league. More, I would. I mean, if it provided play, a facility, if it provided a facility for me to play privately, so I don't have to worry about pedestrians yes. and stuff like that, I would totally. But that's what we oh, pay yeah. for. We pay for the facility. That's what most of the expenses. Yeah. No. Okay. That's. Yeah, I would pay to play somewhere, but I right. would not necessarily that's, pay to be in a league that we just go to like a park and play. Uh, no, 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 no. 
Oh, no, yeah. I mean like a league, like you have a place to play and you have even moderators, right, that you're paying for. Because like, so, you know, these guys are trained and stuff like that. Right. Um, and that's what we pay for. We pay for the facility X 40 minutes a week, right? right? Now, that may be a little extreme for Nerf. The thing is, Nerf lasts a long time, right? So it's like hours. Yep. And you're in a type of facility for hours, so it could get a little pricey. But I just don't know if the community in general would down it would require to do a league. I'm not saying they wouldn't pay. Everyone would be like, oh, dude, I'll throw in five bucks to rent out the mall for like six hours. I would totally throw in five bucks. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah, don't, don't be a dick. Yeah. Five yeah. bucks. I get it. But like $100 for a 10 week yeah. series of games. You know, I don't right, know. yeah, I would. I could put down for that. I don't know if other people put down for that, especially because they're used to, you know, there's a lot of playing on campuses, and and that's part of the, uh, the entry point of the hobby that makes it accessible to a great many people is that you, it's it's cheap to start up, relatively cheap. You could buy a pretty cheap blaster, yeah, mixture mags, uh, yep. you know, and you're good to go. Um, the other thing is that you can play in public. And that's that's honestly one of the, the two things that got me into the hobby. Was well, you this kind of can play in public. This is, well, here's the thing. I can go to a park and play. It might not be... I mean, you could, I could but to, you, might get, you might get... You might get kicked out? Yeah. In the park? Yeah, yeah that happened. We, we read about stories about like that. Like, no one, get kicks off, no one gets kicked off the hoop court for playing hoop. Yes, that is that is true. You get play in the court. Or there's like a scheduled event at that game before someone brings it up on the thread. Like I have a situation where they someone rented that outdoor court for the day and we had to leave. But, you know, it is what it is. They paid for it, right? But I mean, normally you're not going to get kicked off the soccer field playing soccer. Right. I mean, I feel like if you're at a public park and you have like a, a little area, like you aren't going to get, you aren't going to get kicked out for the most part if you're just there playing with some Nerf stuff. Um now, if you're at a school playing, that's different. If you're in a place yeah. that's designated for something else, that's that's different. You know, it, it, it is all very much dependent upon area. But what I mean is, like, you can't go out and play paintball in the park or airsoft in the park for sure. Like, just guarantee. No, you don't. That's yeah. that's just gonna that's gonna be a bad time for everybody. Well, no, that's I mean, there, and there's sports that you can't do that in the park either. Like, you're not gonna do the javelin throw in the park. Correct. That's just dangerous. <laughs> that's just dangerous. Yeah, no, like, for sure. And that's you're what paintball is. Like, <laughs> yeah, you're not just rolling to the park like, oh, I'm going to get my bow set. <laughs> is, that, is, that, is that a sport, though? Archery is a sport. Or is it a competition? <laughs> there could be a, the definition of competition is sport. You might be right. You might be right. I don't, I don't know. What, so I, I remember someone saying something like a sport has to be like, two people or teams competing against each other with like a clear winner um, in like a give and take. Whereas yeah. like a, a competition is you are doing something and trying to do it better than the other person. There was some weird thing. It, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Maybe. I was just. Well, you're not going to the park and doing it. That's the point. Yes. Not throwing the, shot put, the shot put in the park is going to end up rough for you when you nail somebody's kid with the, yes. with the 20 pound shot put the ball. So, right. I mean, I, the other thing about playing Nerf in the park is, to me, Nerf inherently you need some kind of cover or things to hide obstacles, right? Right. Well, so well that's, just, you know, mm, here's the thing: if you have, if you build obstacles, and that's what I mean by like, I don't think you're going to get kicked yeah. out of a park. If you go to a big open field in a park and you put a bunch of obstacles up and you're running around and doing stuff, I feel like you're not very likely to get kicked out unless someone had it reserved or something's going on. Um, yeah, if you're in a school I mean, where there's like public walkways, it's different. It's different. You're definitely not likely to get kicked out. I mean, that's that's true. I think you're probably still more likely, though, than if you're playing basketball. 100%. Right? I don't think you're going to be more likely but look to get at, But look at basketball. D basketball, you have a designated area for that, specifically for basketball. You don't just play basketball yeah, like that. You think of anything that you like, you would just go to a field and play. Like the only thing I can think of is soccer. And that's and that's even why we need to stop. That's why the Nerf community needs to stop being cheap. You know, those courts got built because things got popular. That's why the court got built because the sport got popular and people wanted it there. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. And that's what you do. You put up a soccer field. You put up a hoop court. I mean, yeah. Even I skate mean, parks. Look at skate parks. The public builds skate parks now. Yeah, that's a real thing. 
It's a real fact. Right? Hey, people hey. used to skate on the sidewalk and all that stuff. No, I feel yeah. There's, I mean, there's, uh, you know, places. There's fields to go play paintball and fields to go play airsoft. Um, there are few and far between Nerf fields. Not free though. No, I don't, I don't mean free. Like, I mean, like, aren't skate parks a lot? Uh, they they might be. They might be. I think it depends. Like, and I feel there like skateboarding. Rooms. Like, I feel like skateboarding at one point in time that it's it, is growth because the skateboarders were doing stuff off the rails and off the stage. Maybe I just watched too many eighties movies, but like, I feel like it was a menace, but it was so popular. They had to do something with it. So they gave them their own stuff. Yes. But uh, okay. Here's the thing. There are, there are skate parks. You were right. Not, there aren't a skate park at like every park, right? No, so, there's not. There's definitely not. There's not hoop at every park, but there's, there's a, it's more common. Like yeah. any school but that you go basketball, to, is basketball is like fifty years older than skateboarding. So no, no, one hundred percent, I agree. So that's what I'm saying. But there are fields for sure for like airsoft and paintball, and yeah, you got to pay to play. Yeah. And I get it. And one of the things I said that that was appealing to me was I didn't have to pay to play uh, for Nerf the same way I did airsoft and paintball. Because airsoft and paintball, it was like forty dollars, you know, thirty forty dollars for a game. I had to like drive out really far to go get to a place. Um, yeah. you know, I had, a, there was a lot of stuff going on like that. Yeah. Um, whereas this, I could just get together with, with people and we could go to a park and we could play. And if I, I get that appeal, I totally get that appeal. Uh, if I could get together in a park and play airsoft or paintball, I probably would have done that just as well. I'm doing like, Hey, cool. Let's go play this. And then sometimes, sometimes when I want to go have a really fun day, I'm going to go to pay to play on the field. Right, because I'm right. sure. I mean, we live in California, so don't get twisted. I'm sure there are a lot of people that are like, "Well, Josh, I just go in my backyard and I go play with my paintball and airsoft guns." But I live in Idaho. Yeah, I'm mean, like that. Yeah, I get it. Yeah. You, you, you have that. That option is available to you. I'm sure. Um, and you know, and then in you, urban areas it's a little tougher. Right, and then then on maybe you know when you want to have a special thing, you go down to the place that actually has built like bunkers and stuff, and you play on that field, and it's like, oh, this is way cooler because it's not just in the right. woods. I get it, I get it. Um, you know, I know people have done that up in like the Santa Cruz Mountains and stuff. Um, yeah, we have those. We have those places too. I was just there at Murphy's. Like that's it's a lot yeah. of land, but it's it's also three hours from anything. Right. What I'm saying is that even if you want to go do that for Nerf and be like, hey, I, yeah, I go play in the park, but I want to go today and play at the Nerf field. There's no Nerf field. There's like very few. There's like a couple in the U.S. You know, there's a couple across the pond. Um, that's there's and nothing. there probably won't be until people are willing to shell out more. Yeah. Oh, for sure. And I mean that, that's the other thing that, that that came up was it is targeted towards children, and I can't fault them for that. You know what I mean? Like there, there's been like arguments like, well, we're playing. You know, we're playing with kids' toys. Like. Yeah, I know. I enjoy that. Most I don't sport, have a, actually most sports are most sports are targeted towards children. You got to start them early. Yes, they are, but but the sport like continues with them into like adulthood, right? We just got to be the first generation of adult nerfers that push the envelope. Hey, no, we're I, hey, I think we've pushed it enough to where you know Nerf is taking notice now. They're getting that's why they're doing the whole uh uh their new uh what the heck's it called. Their new rivals line. I almost said rebel rivals, line, and I'm like, yeah. no, that's girls. Well, yeah, they, um, and they got and they got dude perfect, and he's an old guy, right? So yeah, that's true. He is definitely not, uh, you know, the he's well, he's he's our age. I can't say target ten year old market for sure. Um, so I get it, I get it. I have no problems with that because there there have been arguments back and forth on each side, right? Like, hey, the as soon as we can get away from using kids' toys and like kid tolerances for all of these builds. I'm like, I don't care about that. That doesn't bug me at all. No. I, I like would play, if I had a field that I had to go play on and I had to play bones, knew we could get easy access to a place with already pre-built everything for a reasonable price, I would be willing to even go bone stock. Yeah. And I mean, I'm sure that there are some pe people that I've heard like, oh, we went and played at this, uh, you know, uh, paintball field. We rented it out for the day. That's cool. And I've, I've, that's definitely something that I've contemplated looking into uh to doing for some of our events uh yes but then you, you know, run into the original calculation right nerfers are cheap 
who's who's gonna pay for it? <laughs> right. No, I, I feel you. I one hundred percent feel you. <laughs> Oh. Like it's all. Everyone always wants to drive across country until it's time to pay the rental fee on the car. Yeah, that's a real thing. Um, uh, let's see what what else were they talking about in it? Just just stuff about like misconceptions and how do you eliminate them? And um, but I mean, like I don't know. I, I I mean, I don't see nervous popular enough to like. I don't know if someone does something really stupid. I think maybe there's heightened awareness right now because of all the people getting shot because they're carrying fake guns and. Like we're just in that what era right now. The police are running around killing everybody for no reason. It's crazy. Yeah, there's there's a lot of things going on that I think uh, give us a little bit of blowback. But I, I agree, mostly we're just not big enough for it to really be a thing. I think what what might have sparked no. some of this was uh, oh who was it? Someone was having a toy gun buyback. Buffalo. Oh freaking okay. First of all, you know oh. what? No disrespect to any of our listeners in Buffalo, but. You know, I mean, I didn't grow up in Buffalo or too close to Buffalo. Western New York, pretty much anything north of New York City, isn't exactly a a, a hotbed for good ideas. Um, and that's as a as a resident of state New York. So my apologies to Schenectady, Albany, Troy, Rochester, Syracuse, and uh, Buffalo. Okay, I know you guys got a football team. And you think you're big shit, but let's, <laughs> let, let's keep it real. It's Buffalo, guys. All right. They're like Fremont, California is bigger than Buffalo. And they have, I mean, it's just, that's just, I'm just letting y'all know where y'all stand in the scope of the world. I left upstate New York. I've seen the rest, I've seen some of the rest of the world. Buffalo's great people, great place. Not like the greatest ideas have not come out of Buffalo. They did lose four Super Bowls in a row. Yes. Really hard to do that. So, anyways, no, no, I mean, now I lost the three listeners we have in Buffalo. <laughs> man, we lost the, the eight listeners we had at the beginning of this when you, you just went way crazy. And it was like, nah, 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 nah. every other word is like, oh, I can't even. Buffalo. I can't even right now. Oh. Yeah. So, there's a toy buyback in Buffalo. Here, yeah, on, I, 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 I don't. Is this, I, be- is this better? I, I don't. I no. Don't, no, 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 it didn't change. No improvement? No. Now I can hear me when I talk even louder. Before it was quieter, but I can still hear me. I just I just need to buy you something that's real, like real equipment. I just got a Surface Pro. Th- I got a Surface Pro. Th- yeah. See, I can't even. You didn't even finish that sentence on my end. I just got a. Oh, this is uh. worse than usual. Yeah, I feel like you need to reboot your router or like stop streaming Game of Thrones right now or something. <laughs> Leslie's probably bedroom. That's probably what's going down. <laughs> it could be. I don't even know. I'm like, there's not even. I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand. Right, we'll just have to top. We'll top it out. Yes. Um. I don't even remember what I saw. Oh, misconceptions and stuff. It was just like I don't. We're not big enough. We're not big enough. No. The only thing we're you hear about is once in a while when someone gets kicked off a of campus for bringing a blaster, and I'm like, hey, you know what? You need to either clear your stuff with your campus or read your rules and make sure that most most campuses these days that I've been to have like a zero tolerance policy. And I get that. You got to make sure people know what's going on. Uh, that's one of the tough things about having like a HVZ event that's a week long and like you got to go to class and you got to survive in between class. That's cool. I get it. As long as people know what's going on and and people are going to be like, oh my God, somebody's got to go. Like, dude, it's, you know, and that's that comes with the painting territory and all that sort of stuff. Um, and being too tactical, that's something I wanted to bring up because we, we've talked a lot about repurposing gear and God. being more tactical. Um, is there such a thing as too tactical? I mean, you know, it depends. You, you, you got to take into account your surroundings, man. Like if you're going to be out there, you got to make it like at least wear some colors underneath. Like you got a black tack vest, man, go, go with some bright colors. Come on. <laughs> Let's keep it. Keep it looking cool. Saying? Are you saying never go full tactical? Because <laughs> uh, yeah. I, I, I've, I've gone. I went there. Two, 2013, IMBFU. I went full tactical. Uh, I'm just saying. I've been to some events yeah, can- where it's cool. Like it's a nighttime HVZ thing. The, the campus police knew what was up. Yeah, cool. I came full out, you know, in my stuff. <laughs> 
I'll, I'll, yes, I'll you just did. to the nines, yes, as they did. say. <laughs> like a little cat burglar. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, but man, if you're playing in the middle of the day and you have an <laughs> entire team rolling up looking like this, like people are gonna be like, "Oh, we gotta call squat." Right uh, now. I only, I only laugh because I remember that phase. I think that's a phase in everybody's nerf life that they want to go full tack. Like I went full tack. I had the vest. I was rocking the, the camo. Was blacked out my eyes. I get it. I get I, it. Some people. I it depend. It, like I said, it, it for me it depends on the event and how you're doing it, right? If it's something that is very milsim, cool. Do your thing. If it's not very milsim, I get it. You still might want a rock attack vest to carry your stuff in. I completely understand. Maybe you wear a brighter color. No. Put it. Put your put your clips on your blaster, people. Just evolve, okay? Evolve. E V all you know it's an option that's an option just be is really be aware of your surroundings be aware of where you're playing and that sort of stuff i don't think that there's a ton of negative connotations with nerf that need or misconceptions that need to be like changed and we need to promote all of these things i i get it and then actually you know what i'm gonna bring it up here because you know it comes up every time it's the clip clip versus blaster debate oh god damn it no 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 Here's here's my thing. Clip versus, you mean clip versus? I'm sorry, magazine? Clip, clip versus magazine debate. Um, I, I get the gun versus blaster thing. If you call it a gun, that's cool. It is technically you are not incorrect. Do try. I, I like. I prefer to try to keep blaster out there when I'm dealing with people and talking to people that might not be all savvy on what's going down. Cool. Done. All right. E that's easy. The the magazine versus clip. I I don't. First off, it doesn't matter. First off, it just completely does not matter. I'm going to say that right now. Like, it, just stop. Stop telling people that they're wrong because they're not. If they call it a clip, they're right because Nerf calls it a clip. So why would you say that this isn't what they're calling it? Because it's GIF. Uh, that's – stop. You don't even know. <laughs> Moms like you choose GIF, BFU. Moms like you. Uh, hey, 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 hey. The guy that invented it said it's a GIF, so you have to call it a GIF. No, you don't. It's too late for that. It's too late no, for that. No, no. That's, yep. that's how it works. Uh, it is when you don't know how to spell. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I could be like, oh, yeah, that says BFU, but it means match. Uh, no, no yep. it doesn't. It says BFU, dog. That's that's uh, a that's real cool. thing. I think I understand <laughs> what you're saying. How can't we just call them clip pansies? No, 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 no. That's not even my thing. Like, I don't understand – People are like, it's it's a magazine. You should say magazine. And then people are like, no, it's a clip because Nerf says it's a clip. And they're like, well, Nerf is wrong because this is the definition of magazine. It doesn't matter. Like, first off, we both know what you're talking about, okay? Second, <laughs> it's like, well, we call it a clip because we're, we're trying to keep from the magazine definition and firearm stuff. Like, dude, where do you think, like, clip started? <laughs> clip, clip is there. Clip exists. It's a real thing. It is still a real firearms uh, uh, term, and you know what? Screwed up for everybody now. Now, oh, you mad, you mad a, cut it's out. An, it's uh, oh, I said, uh, now we need an acronym. No, my point is, clips are a real thing, and you know what? They're misused in real firearms terminology. How many times have you heard people say that they they're out or they need a new clip or a fresh clip? And I'm like, you're not using a clip. You can yell at those people. Yo, those people in movies, they're like, hey, that's not a clip, dog. That's not a, this is a clip. That's not a clip. You ain't using a clip. You're using a magazine. Tell them. They're the ones who are who are perpetuating this terminology. Us, it doesn't matter. And it doesn't matter because Nerf has decided to call them clips. So that's what they are. But if you say magazine, they're also a magazine. It's that's just it's a real thing. That's I'm, I'm going sorry. from now on is SDF. Oh, you 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 need to stop with the acronyms. You need you swappable need dart, swappable dart feeder. No, the hoppers are already a thing. Yes. <laughs> you and your hops these nuts. Uh, yeah. That was a, that so was a good rant. I don't. Yeah, I just I can't. I'm so sick and tired of that. There's no debate. Just stop it. Y'all know what you're talking about. And one really doesn't sound better than the other to people who don't know about Nerf stuff. Just so you know, people here are like, "Hey, I'm out. I need a new clip." 
what's going on over there? <laughs> well, what's what's going on? Why do they need a new clip? You know what? You know what a better one is? How about this, guys? And I'm not saying people don't do this already, but how about shoot? Because the, it's a it's a blaster. It does shoot darts. But when I'm shooting someone, I just refer to it as tagging them. I'm not gonna be like, oh, I'm gonna go shoot that guy. I need I'm out of darts in my clip. Let me go shoot. No, no just but you know, if you say tag, people are like what tag? Huh? Laser tag? That's the thing. It doesn't even fire stuff. It's safe. It just has light. It's like a remote control. <clears throat> Honestly, those are the two bigger ones for me. Clip magazine debate is out. I always use blaster for sure. Uh, I try to always use blaster. I try to always use tag instead of instead of shoot. Because if people hear shoot, that's like bomb on an airplane. People are like, what? Who's shooting? Huh? We're out of school. I heard shoot. Like, oh, no, I would, uh, mm, you know, I wasn't, that's not what I, hmm. Yeah, you know, that sounds bad. You're right. Uh, right. God bless uh, <laughs> I'm going to make my connection crappy. I'm going to make my connection crappy more often. This is actually fun to listen to. <laughs> I just, I, 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 I've seen these things that like it's no. always the clip magazine thing. It's never anything else. Uh, occasionally, it's the just gun so versus blaster. But you know, just so everybody's aware and thinks Josh is this universal like smooth things over with everybody, the Bill Clinton of Nerf. This is how he is most of the time. <laughs> no, most of the I'm, time I'm he's like a no. dog with a bone, and he's just shaking the crap out of it. I'm usually much angrier than this. I'm still holding <laughs> it back for the podcast. You guys don't even know. Like one day, it's just gonna all go away. I'm gonna fly off the handle, and then BFU is gonna be sitting there going like, "Yes, yes, I get to do things now. I get to say all the stuff I always want to say." Oh, uh, you you guys have no idea what kind of sensor I'm on for this podcast. You don't. And the amount of times I swear in real life. Y'all don't know. If it gets to that, with the, the sad thing is, if we just went super ghetto the way we normally are, podcast. Uh, our, our viewership would go probably through the roof. People would be like, oh, these two idiots just yell at people. <laughs> we'll That's get Jay in here. He'll really be like do. the Gordon Ramsay of Nerf. <laughs> this oh, dog no. is an aerodynamic. <laughs> you can't put Arjang on YouTube. No. He would love it. He would love it. Uh, he's like, I want to go, I wanna go and make other Nerf friend. personalities cry. Can I go to their games and make them cry? <laughs> you, you, you know. That's it would be true. like Hell's Kitchen, except for Nerf. That's actually true. He really does. Are really you really using a Maverick? Guy. Is this a Maverick? <laughs> Bleeping every other word that he's saying. <laughs> what he is really this yellow piece guys. of crap? It's yellow. Does that not say lead on it? What is that? Ten feet? Ten feet? <laughs> Will we ever do that? I call dibs on smashing everybody's strong arm. <laughs> Oh man, yeah, that's that's that could potentially be a real thing one day. Whew. Whew. Yes, the, the the NIC better pro- pro- hope that I never get rich. <laughs> <sighs> oh, even... is that is that a strong arm? Is that your side arm? Oh, that's so nice. What have you done to it? Oh well, you know you haven't thrown it in the trash. Okay, that's what you haven't done to it. <laughs> oh, jeez. You have uh, not purchased a hammer shot. Purchased. You know. <laughs> you know. That's a real uh, thing. This is the most fun I've had in like the last five podcasts. Yeah, this has been pretty pretty dope. Pretty dope. Um Yeah, that's the the real big thing that was kind of going on that the the larger discussion wanted to chime in on. Um yeah. Yeah, a couple couple small things to switch to happier topics. Yes. Uh, Grinda. Grinda is shipping his oh, retaliation. Oh, Grindra. Grindra. Grindra, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah like yeah, dragon, so, but without the agon. Grindra. Yeah, Dra- Cal Drogo. Grindra yeah. is shipping his retaliator kits um, to the U.S. for forty one twenty one with shipping from Singapore. So if you're not on one already, uh, I would get on that. That's a pretty reasonable price. Uh, pretty good support for the local dude. I'm going to throw this out there once again. Seriously, America? Seriously. Seriously? Yeah. For reals? For reals, America? Y'all slipping so hard. Like, I feel like 3D printing is relatively the same, at least close to the same price for everybody. 
just feel like maybe Americans are lazy. Stupid Americans. Well, yeah, what is it, like uh, $30, something like that, for the yeah, it's, like 30 kit. Bucks, it's like 30 bucks for the kit and then 10 bucks for the shipping. 10 bucks for the shipping. So I don't understand, and I'm not saying make his kit, but I'm surprised that there is not a locally made kit by now. Like I'm not surprised. We don't got surprised. anybody who wants to just – Honestly, I don't care. American nerfers may be the least hardcore nerfers. Ooh. I feel like we get out nerfed by the rest of the world. That's like I feel like the rest of the world's dedication to the hobby may be more hardcore than us. Uh, you know, that's a, that's a that's a real possibility. I don't know. I ain't gonna not include the NIC. Not include the NIC. The the, the plumbers. The plumber real shit. The plumbers <laughs> are on some real stuff. Yeah, I got new respect for the plumbers. Nom, that thing you made for Drac, that was pretty, dog. That was super pretty, with the wood. And the stuff and the rosewood or dragon blood wood or whatever fanger wood, I don't know what the hell you guys call it. That was pretty dog. Use an artist. Use an artist, bro. Uh the, I have come to appreciate I still scared of the plumbers, but I at least appreciate the plumbers now. <laughs> There's the actually rest a of the that we got sent. Uh who was it? Who put that up? Oh, the oh, one CJ put up? Yeah, the one CJ oh, I'm gonna see if I can Oh no, that's not it, right there. That's a that's a. Mess. Oh yeah, the pretty the pretty plumber blasters. Yeah, yeah. I'll I'll screen share that. Let's see. Uh, oh wow, yeah. Net is not happy. Oh, uh, that's not my problem. That's not. Oh, there we go. No, no, there it is. It's uh, it's this photo bucket. I'm gonna share this. Bam, blamo, sharing like that. How you like it? There it is. Those look. Those are nice. Yeah, them joints yeah. are pretty. That's pretty plumber right there. That's su that's super pretty plumber. I can get behind that plumage. Yeah, no, for sure. That I mean, they're very uh, uh, super soakery. I think was mentioned. Someone was like, "Yeah, they're very reminiscent of like super soakers." They seem very um, not just homemade in somebody's garage per se. No, that's that's good craftsmanship. That's good craftsmanship. It's the that's finishing touches. Hard. That's the thing for me. Yeah, like I, hey, I got mad respect for everybody who's making stuff go crazy distances and do all that. But like, man, if I if I put all that work into making it do it, I want it to look cool too. Like, just paint it, man. Or yeah, just I like form and function. Form and I'm, I'm definitely down with form and function. So, anyway, yeah, for sure. I'm call. I know you're trying to steer me away from calling out the Sambo USA community. Oh yeah, no, you do. We got, we got we got we got some games to step up. Okay, we are getting beat by the Brits. Shout out to the, my folks in the UK. We're getting beat by the Aussie. You are Robert and Singapore's Duke. Okay, we're not innovating over here. Ain't no innovation. Okay, I'm challenging y'all to innovate because I can't do it. I'm not smart enough. Okay, I'm talking to the smart people. I'm not talking to the stupid people. I'm talking to the smart ones. Smart people, get your game on. All right, put down the PVC. A strife, some thing, oh. something. I'll buy oh. it. Oh, he went so crazy right there. It just, it was all over. It was like, it was like a modem from 1999. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. If the ramp uh, didn't come through, I'll just do it again next time. I'm gonna, you know what? I'm going to keep bagging on the Sambo USA community until we step our damn game up. The only thing we're good at, and I don't say we, the only thing the USA Sambo community is good at is getting viewers and doing reviews. That's what we got on lockdown. Sure. And sure. Not us. Get, not us no, that is certainly not us. Everybody that we know that has started doing nerf youtubes and blogs even after us oh like oh, fact, man we passed shout out to, we passed shout out to Chris stuff. James. <laughs> James can we get can we get some plug on your channel can we get a guest appearance so we can get our subs up for real hey they just they just offer that content all we do is talk for hours and people don't care there's like there's like yeah. 30 hardcore nerfers that listen to us and they're like yeah you keep making it dude it's good we love listening to you and everybody else is like an hour Son, I got things to do. Listen, do you have any relevant yep. mods? I just want to know how to mod my stuff. I just want some advice on this. I don't want... No, go away. Yowp. ECW. 
that's the truth. Um. Oh, there was uh, uh welcome uh, your boy welcome seven made a uh, uh, a cool video of a jolt holster that uh, if you guys haven't uh, seen, you check it out. It's basically just a, a old cell phone holder, like a like an old uh, cell phone holder that you just cut a little bit out. You throw a jolt in there. You can you can easily clip it to you, but it magnets over the uh, the jolt, and you can just like quickly pull it out because yeah. you're stronger than the magnet. But if you're shaking it around, oh. there's not enough weight to just to just pop it out. Uh, and that looks cool. Oh. Like I, it, oh. you, know, you have a whole bandolier of them. Oh. Maybe maybe you could find one, make it work with uh, this guy. Yeah, this is my boy, my double strike. Oh. I know, I know, Mr. BFU doesn't like it, but this is mine. Yeah. If it's my hand, all perfect. You just don't like it because the darts stick out. I remember. I remember. I'm a thing. This is like my like James Bond. Nerf my James. Bond. <laughs> All right. Um. What else? What else we got going on? Bam. We close out of close out of some tabs and look at some stuff. What's happening on the Nerf Reddit's? Uh, ooh, not a whole lot. Some paint jobs. Uh, you nope, know, it's rough in the hood. I've been on. All, I've been on all week. You know me. I say uh, stay on refresh. Yeah, there's somebody who's doing some um, some 3D printed internals uh, for the long strike. They're testing out some 3D printed internals. So I guess we'll see what's going on with that if they they finish it or or what have you. Uh, a lot of talk of Boomco stuff because there's been little previews here and there of like the Halo blasters, and those look cool. We talked about IPs on this uh, yeah. this podcast before. They certainly look nice. I don't know how they'll fire or what they'll do, but. Yep. By golly, I'm sure that that's going to help them get a good, uh, a good foothold in the community. Yep. Because even even if people who already nerf don't like them, people who are getting who are new to nerf but know Halo will be like, oh, I'm going to bring that to an event because it looks cool. That's cool, man. Yep. You know, sometimes it, sometimes it's all about looking and feeling cool, just as much as performance. It's a real it's a real thing. Uh, what else? What else we got going on? Oh, shout out to our boy, Rob, Mr. SBNC. I know it's been there for a while, but congrats on the stash, dog. That's looking nice. It's coming in. You know. What you, what you got over there? What you got over there, you? It's an oh, ascot. Playoff time, baby. Oh. They don't ask the Warriors, baby. Play. Sorry, you got that bald head going on. I just want you to kingpin it up over there. Hey, hey, don't, don't, hey, don't hate him, my boy. Hey, my boy is killing it as King. He is. No, he's doing dope. He's killing it. Oh, Crushing it. I know this ain't the right podcast, but if you ain't watching Daredevil, put your shit together and go watch it. Stop. For real. That's a real like, thing. Stop. That's, stop. Marvel killed it on Netflix. Don't be mad. Don't be full of hate. You know. No, you that, can still that, watch your other little – your love stories, but they're killing it. They're killing the game right now. Yeah, you tell them, Shaniqua. Um, nah, I'm too. I'm too phone for show. Oh, dang, dang. Yeah. You, However, do you want it? However, do you need it, baby? However, do you want it? Oh, it's FWA. Phone with attitude. <laughs> <laughs> Straight out of Hasbro, a crazy. <laughs> yes, yes. Oh, that's awesome. Oh. <laughs> yeah, chill. Uh, yeah, you know. Chill. Let's, oh, yeah. there was. I wanted to give a shout out. Actually, Reddit already kind of gave a shout out, but I'm just gonna, you know, keep rolling it along in case people didn't go and check it out. Uh, SKQ times two, I believe, is the name of the channel. Summer, Skylar, and Trixie, um, mm, hooking it up. They've been doing this for a while, guys. If you ain't watching them, go check it out. I mean, everybody on YouTube pretty much has more subs than us, so I expect that everybody's already seen it. But you know, <laughs> <laughs> come on, man. It's not that. Hey, it's, we don't do it for. We don't. Hey, we don't no, do no, it I, for don't the stuff. I, I don't do mean it, it like that. People. I just mean I would be very surprised. If you've got a bunch of people that are subbed to For other real. channels, if, you listen, if you're listening to this and you're not subbed to everybody else, right? I don't know that's what I don't. 
But whatever yeah, you're so doing, stop, stop listening right now. Cut your stuff off. Search Nerf <laughs> on YouTube and just start sub, sub yourself out. Yeah, because there's a lot. There's a lot of channels now. They ain't all got the same content and doing stuff. And I ain't. I ain't fishing for subs, but I'm like, yo, they've they've got way more than us. I don't know why I'm trying to pimp their their, their hey, channel. I got but a question. For some is reason, yeah, like, is there like test like to drive back to zero? Is there a what? What? Will we ever do a contest like the drive back to zero? <laughs> Can we start going down? <laughs> like a reverse contest? Hey, unsubscribe from us and you could win stuff. Yeah, that's. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, all right. It's, it's, it's good. I can't wait till some, I can't wait till some blasters come out. Yeah, you know, we'll have, we'll have some stuff. We'll be able to talk about some games next time. Because we'll have, I think, done some... Oh, maybe not. Let me see. Let me check this schedule. Bam, bam. Oh, yeah. yeah. We, play next, yeah. we play next weekend. Yeah, well, I play this weekend and next weekend. Sorry. Because the yep. job sucks. I'm sorry, dogs. I'm sorry that you went to wine country the wrong weekend. Whatever. It's so not my fault I got to work. Whatever. You know, I hope, one, I hope one of you stub your toe. That's... I hope you stub your toe. Um. Yeah, for those of you who actually well, made it through our last podcast and made it through this one, will remember. Uh, no bacon or no bacon is uh, no bacon, is no eggs. Sure, they uh they this Sunday up in Napa. Um, and then we got our stuff, HVZ and Burn Event on the same day, which is the next Saturday, um, the twenty fifth. 25th yeah um yeah. you know it's going you down pretend to be the undead play nerf come hang out with us that's right that's what we're doing um that's that's about it guys i mean you know just stuff, little things going on here and there keep if you if you are going to the reddits already like what's wrong with you man like that's all we do is reiterate what's on reddit and then kind of just keep talking about it like, that's you know i figured out the formula Get get on them Reddits. Subscribe to all these other people. Uh, if you ain't, I don't I don't see how you could be sub, sub to us and not everyone else already. But that's right. Get on it. Get on that. Sub it. Read it. Pop it. Lock it. Uh, join some Facebook right. Nerf groups. Yeah, Facebook. Yeah, real thing. Check out our Nerf Exchange. By the way, you are on the Reddits. So I've already seen a couple of people like, hey, I want to buy this. I want to. I want a single Titan or something. You're like, man, go check it out. Actually, I think it was a stampede. There was a thing about a stampede that somebody wanted. If you need a Titan, hit your boy BF Yeezy up. I might have one. I'll autograph it. <laughs> yeah. We actually had somebody say something about one of our games. Like, oh, they just bought a Titan for like 20 bucks. And I'm like, oh, y'all got ripped off. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> for real. If you need, if you, if you in the Bay Area and you're trying to get some blasters cheap, uh, BFU's Blaster Emporium is you at our Nerf game. So if you don't come down to play the Blaster Emporium, I got like a little camel, a little tent. We hook it up. We hook it up, love. Yeah, yeah, you know. Um, but you know, guys, get out there. Do you think? It's it's the it's getting the time of the season. I know some of y'all still got snow and, and all that jazz going on, but it's time That's to Buffalo. <laughs> I'll get for having a stupid, stupid, stupid toy gun drive. <laughs> Man, we're stupid. We're Buffalo. Yeah, that's. I mean, I'm. I'm gonna be perfectly honest. I am surprised that, that did not happen here. Like, I would expect it here. <laughs> like, right. That's just that's why I'm, that that is all you need to know about Buffalo is that it happened there before California. That's all you gotta know about Buffalo. They probably think that that puts them in that now they're we're metropolitan now. Yes. <laughs> uh. <laughs> F your, F your couch. Dirty boots. Uh, I like. I, I hope that comes through because I got ah, da, 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 dirty boots. <laughs> I said F your couch, Buffalo. Yeah, you know. Buffalo, you, you shot him into extinction. F your couch. Uh, I see. Is the animal. You know, came out. You know, came out of Buffalo. OJ Simpson. Oh. How'd that work out for you guys? I mean, you know. I give him to Florida. So it's a thing. <laughs> uh, 
anyway, guys, yeah, you know, we told you there's not a lot going on. A lot of paint jobs, a lot of other stuff. Get out there, do your nerf thing, play some games the way that you want to play them. Um, but yeah, get out there and have fun. Check out other people's stuff. Get some ideas. Get inspired. Get inspired this nerf season, man. I feel like this is, this yeah, is a good year for transition. Don't get out to Buffalo. I feel like this is a good year of like uh, people trying new stuff in transitions because like we got Boomco hitting it. Uh, they, yep. They're coming in hard with their second line. We got Nerf hitting it with more stuff. Plus yep. they got they got the uh, Rivals series that they trying to bring out. So you know, like it's the yep. year of like let's just let's just experiment, see what we can get done, try it out mess around yeah, pretty much like it's nerfed the college years experimentation there we go you think we'll get a menage triad Ooh, i mean you know we got a lot of stuff i don't mm. oh those are shout, out, shout out to my man anderson shout out, shout out to my man anderson and jane austen <laughs> oh jane austen is never gonna leave the podcast now no, nope, because it was verbal. But you know, but you know what? We got rid of the other thing that's on the podcast, so it doesn't matter. Oh, yeah, you know that's a real thing. Uh, that's the a, bio, that's the a, bio shot. Is the bio shot podcast again? The by the bio shot cast. Can that be an actual thing? Bio shot. <laughs> Episode one hundred. Bio shot cast. <laughs> oh, it would be so freaking. The drive to zero subs. Uh, oh man! All right, America. That's all we got. Except, wait. When I say America, I mean all of America except Buffalo, because you're basically Canada. Uh, yeah, you know. God, I'm a, gonna have to. Do, you're gonna make me do an apology intro on the next one, aren't you? I'm gonna have to apologize to the city of Buffalo. Aren't nope. I? Don't even care. The the caring. Oh, good. Basically, basically Canada. <laughs> Toronto's ugly sister, uh, or brother. Keep it gender neutral. Keep it in gender neutral or brother. Ugly either way. Yeah, sure. We'll, we'll, we'll go with that. I don't even is is because like, I like no. I know fat shaming is a thing, and slut shaming is a thing. Is city is city shaming a thing? I don't even. I don't even. We got this. It went to a weird place now. I don't. I'm just. Uh, mm. it, it opened. It opened with me in a horse mask. What do you think was? Yeah, you. You know, <laughs> you, you did right. That is. That is the truth. <laughs> I don't know how I could have ever thought this was going to go to a good place. I don't, know how, I don't know how you thought this was going to end, but you obviously <laughs> didn't watch the beginning because I kept cutting out. <laughs> that was for real. Uh, we'll touch. We'll try to take care of BF Yeezy's audio for the next podcast. I'm gonna have tech support come over and uh, clean my router out. Yeah, we're gonna see what we can do to get him some some real stuff going. Hopefully soon, because it's uh it's rough in the hood. Yep. But uh, yeah, yeah, we've been sort of stringing this out. I think as long as as long as we can. So, you know, take it easy, y'all. Be safe out there. Don't uh spread the good word of nerf. Yep. Spread the nerf gospel. Don't uh don't don't bring it down, baby. You know. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna sign off, y'all. This is this has been fun. Thanks for listening. If you made it to the end, pat yourself on the back. You're you're a good better you're better man than I. Uh this is Josh. This is BF Yeezy. Happy tagging. Happy tagging. Oh, wow. That actually worked out well for once. Oh, suck it, Buffalo. Suck it, Buffalo. I hope you suck it so bad. Except for your wings, though, because I like I like them. No, your wings is dope, but the rest of you can suck it. Yes. Buffalo sucks. Out. Oh.